another skip it or stream it. Baby Reindeer. I really don't know where it's going to end. Now streaming on Netflix Mm -hmm. and number one in a lot of countries right now. Everybody's talking about it. Wasn't it 100% on Rotten Tomatoes as well? And 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Now, when I first got given the recommendation to watch it, I was like, what baby reindeer? That ends up being the endearing nickname. She, the stalker, yeah. gives the uh, stocky, I suppose. You know, it's the first thing I thought of is we were only eight minutes into it when he starts talking about her laugh. Is there's a very fine line between stalking and not stalking. You know, right. if you're interested in the person, it's not stalking. Then it's a relationship. Yeah. But when it's unrequited love, now you're stalking. And he realized something was going on because she had some tall tales as soon as she walked in the bar. So basically what happens is it's a woman who claims she's a lawyer. She comes into a bar and she's but, always like, got all kinds of time on her But can never hands. afford, never afford even drink. like a cup of tea or a Diet Coke. Yeah. So he buys it for her the first time. They start a, a friendship and then she comes in every day, but she spends like all day at the bar talking to him. He starts questioning things and the text he gets from her the fact she has an iPhone even though she didn't when I saw her texting at the bar just all these little things he's picking up on he's an aspiring comedian working as a bartender the character's name is Donnie Dunn played by actor Richard Gadd who not only plays the lead character but actually experienced this it's a true story of him being stalked by somebody for get this over five years was it that long because yeah, I've only seen the first episode in the, well no it. in the movie it was only a couple of years so he had he did change some details right but the story was his true story of being stalked by a woman, an older woman. It's a very compelling series. It's almost like it's drawing you in like a stalker would do. Most Terry, people I know binged it like they were you, stalking. They, I stalked the stalk, series. Stalking the series. Yeah. Weren't you investigating the past history of the series and who it was associated with and all that stuff? Yeah, well, and I read like, so he actually has done a really good job of um, concealing and hiding who his stalker was, oh. who was... Her character's name was Martha, and it was played by Jessica Gunning so well. But he said she won't probably even recognize herself. Are you serious? So the yeah. details weren't accurate. The details okay. were there, but they were they were twisted in a way that she wouldn't even... Because he said he felt sorry for her at the right. end of the day. That's right. When someone's stalking someone else and you're watching this story unfold... There's a little bit of reality in there with everyone. It's only the stalkers take it to an extreme. So instead the way we're of typing sending the people someone whatever, one email, she sends him 80 in a day. Y- yeah, yeah. And that's where it becomes an obsession. And yeah. because he's lonely, he starts to find himself weirdly drawn in too. The, the scene with the laughter is the one that illustrated that the best. Check this out. <laughs> I began to love her laugh, obsessed with it, do everything I could to eke it out of her. It was casual. Yeah, it see? was harmless. It was... Becoming a joke around the bar. Oi, Donny, how are you going to introduce us to your girlfriend? Yeah, see, so he's starting to get made fun of by his friends who realize what's going on, but he doesn't see it. You know, he's not yet drawn in and hooked and realized he's spending more time reading emails and checking out her Facebook page and all that stuff. The thing is, when he finally realizes it's getting to the point where she's following him, she's sitting in his bar all day, she's obsessed with him, talking about what their kids will be like and everything oh, yes. else. Yeah. Uh, he, you know, he does go to the police and they don't take it seriously because it's a female stalker. Mm-hmm. I think, sadly, if it was the other way around, they would have taken it a lot more seriously. But she ended up, she was quite dangerous. And you'll see as the story unfolds, there were times where he was actually scared for his life. And she did a lot of things to people around him to kind of try to destroy their lives. Mm-hmm. So stalkers, it doesn't matter, male or female, can be very, very dangerous. So it should be taken seriously. Seriously. Absolutely. Can we talk for a second, too, about how great she Jessica Gunning? portrayed that stalkerish role? You could see there were so many levels, like layers to her. Of course. She's very well acted, yeah. Well, here's an example at the end of the first episode, which is the one I saw. And, and the voice she puts on, you're just like, oof. Is this you asking me for my skin suit? Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'd wear you like a onesie. <laughs> oh, my God. And she's going, she's like zipping him up. Goodness, I'm, I've got doing chills. This too. Like she's running his fingers up his, up his chest, <laughs> running her fingers. <laughs> that laugh. Yeah, oh they God, were talking man. about what would shivers. your superpowers be, and yeah. she would be like, "I wish I could could actually live inside somebody else." Unzip them from the chin down to the navel, she said, and crawl inside crawl you, inside. and wear you like a onesie. I'll never forget that line. With a couple of biscuits, she wanted to munch on. Remember? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? 100% stream it. <laughs> 
It's binge worthy. Yes. It's a real story. It's acted out well. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to give any spoilers away to the end, but you got to watch it right to the very end because I think it'll shock you. Well, it's already shocked me and I've only seen one episode. I also say stream it. It is Baby Reindeer.